Hey guys, this is Sean. I'm with XS Power Batteries. Today we are going to be showing you how to simply assemble a bank of LTO 40 amp hour cells. Um, we've got a lot of questions on the site about this. We've got a lot of questions on Facebook. We are going to do this for you just to simply tell you exactly how to do it. Um, this is a really simple process. Don't overthink it. Um, there's a lot of simple ways to do this. So if you'll come over here, we'll get started. So we're gonna start off with this bank right here. I'm gonna spin it around for you to give you an idea of what you're looking at. This is a fully assembled bank. As you can see, we've got six cells. They are in series. Now this is an assembled bank. As you can see, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Now if you wanna spin over here, on this side, we've got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And when this is done, the only thing you're gonna be using is these two studs. You're not gonna be using anything that's, that has a connector on it. That's how you get to a series. So we're gonna take this bank apart for you today and we're gonna show you how to do it. Now obviously, when you're tightening up the nuts on these, seven nanometers is pretty much what you're gonna to wanna to use. Um, that's about the equivalent to a little over finger tight. We don't like using a lot of force on these because that will break the stud. Um, a lot of people like to try and put these on with impacts, with socket wrenches, and you just gotta be very careful. Um, what I recommend is you go through periodically and check tightening on all of them just to make sure you've got everything continually secure. Some people like using a little bit of thread locker on the end or a little bit of silicone just to kind of keep the nut from backing off of the assembly. Since a lot of people have a problem that the nuts are coming off or they're becoming loose due to vibration, obviously what we do is it has a lot of vibration. So let's go ahead and disassemble this, take all our bars off. As you can see, we've got some really good bars made by Excess Power. Those are available on the DIY Central Shop site. Take a look at those. Here we've got two battery deletes. This is what a lot of people put under their hood. We've got a Group 34 and a D3100 here to kind of give you something to look at. Take our links off. Every pack will need five links. The little screws in the middle are for the balancer. Now I will not be showing a balancer assembly on this video. That will be for a later date. So we're gonna go ahead and start here. We've got, po we've got negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. You can get them lined up just like that. So what you're gonna do is take your first link, negative to positive on one side. Just like that. You'll take your second link, go to the other side. You'll have a negative and a positive on that side. So you're basically going like this, is what you're doing. Like I said, you're putting them in series. The next one, negative, positive, negative to positive. And then your last one, negative to positive. Very simple. Now when you get done with this, you should have two studs with nothing on them. You're gonna take your voltage, you're gonna charge with these two. Once you put the nuts on all these, you won't have to touch them anymore. So when you get done, go ahead and uh, uh, tighten these nuts down like we talked about a minute ago and just use these after your initial assembly. So that's one style. Now I'm gonna show you a little something. We do not have any Indian connectors. However, we see a lot of people using aluminum couplers or some type of coupler to connect them. Some people sell them, Excess Power doesn't sell them yet, but I wanted to discuss this as well. I already have a bank assembled. These are not meant to be couplers. This is simply for demonstration purposes. Again, do not use these like this. This is simply to show you where a coupler would be. So on this one, we are going to have six cells in series the same exact way. So on this side, you have a positive and a negative. We're gonna start off with the negative side. Negative, positive. Negative, positive. Negative, positive. And you can do a whole link like that. But otherwise, at the end, you're gonna have another one of those beautiful little links. You're gonna go positive, negative. And now you're gonna go back that way. So you're gonna have negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. When you're done, do not 
connect these two ends or you will have a spark. That's no different than dead shorting regular battery. So you're gonna connect on a bank like this, you're going to connect the negative to the ground, the positive to your amplifier, and the positive or the and the positive to any other battery sources you have, or to your battery delete. Um, like I said, these can be connected together as well. When you get done, you're gonna have six cells just like this. If we want to take these two, for example, and run them together, what we're gonna do is let me spin this around. What we would have to do is to connect those together we would need to take the positive of this one and put it with the positive of this one, those two ends. So it's gonna be just like two batteries in parallel, the same way you did if you added a bank of caps or if you added an irregular AGM to the back of the vehicle. You do a positive and positive, negative and negative. If you do them positive, negative, positive, negative, you're gonna have a 24 volt battery and it's not gonna work for you, it's not going to work. So the best way for me to tell you to check it is to go ahead, when you get done with each one, when you've got them balanced, they should be somewhere in the 2.2, 2.3 area. That should put you somewhere mid to upper 13s on initial assembly. When that's done, you should be able to connect them together. Now, on the next video, I'm gonna be doing how to link multiple banks together with the same bus bars, but it's the same process as this. If you guys have any questions, like I said, this works for 35s and 40s. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on YouTube. Feel free to hit us up at DIY Central Shop, excess power only. Thank you so much, we'll talk to you soon.